Alright, so, made it to the gym. Um, is that a focus? Yeah, it's made it to the gym. I'm going to be doing shoulders today. Obviously, I did shoulders two weeks ago, but I'm doing shoulders today. I'm going to take more in depth for it. Hopefully, you can hear me. The music is very loud. Um, but we'll see. So, to begin with, what I do is I do, I warm up my shoulders, and the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do arm circles forwards to begin with. Uh, but do I do forwards? Now I'm going to do backwards but with elbows, and then I'm going to go big and do forwards with arms, and then I've got like these split things that I do. But I just watch and follow it, do it yourself. Massively recommend warming up your shoulders this way. Um, you'll feel you'll feel your exercises in your shoulders a lot more as well once you get the blood flowing once you warm up also jump on maybe a cross trainer for two to three minutes get the blood flowing just really high intensity um, but yeah follow this one Inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles Profanities Alright, after that it should be feeling nice and warm um, The first one You want to keep your core as tight as possible And you're coming all the way around um, If you keep your core tucked in Then you're not you're not hyperextending your body, you're keeping the movement just to your shoulders and it's going to isolate the warm-up in your shoulders instead of like stretching out everywhere else. Um, same again, with big arm circles. So you step one foot back, and you're going to come up, over, dip your chest and roll your hands in like that. And then with the second arm circles, the backwards ones, come up with your hands like that. And then at the top, you're going to turn and go out. And then the last one, you literally thumbs up and you're just splitting it. Same again, keeping that core tight um, to isolate the shoulders so you're not extending the back in other places. But my shoulders are feeling warm. If you've done that right, you should have like a tiny bit of pump. You'll be getting some blood flow in your shoulders now. Um, first exercise I'm doing is dumbbell shoulder press. So I'm gonna move straight up to that. All right, so the incline on this one is basically upright, very slightly back if, you, if your bench is at your gym can do that. I'm gonna start on 16 kilos, um, take it really slowly. I'm doing two seconds on the way down, two second pause at the bottom, and two seconds on the way up. Uh, I'll explain more about the pausing at the bottom after this set. Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Alright, so About the pauses With these pauses At that hold When you're at the bottom We're not just chilling there So the muscle isn't relaxed So you're going to be pushing up very slightly, so you're going to be applying force, not enough force to get the weight up, but just enough force to just keep it like under tension. So you take it down, two seconds down, hold two seconds, and the hold is just slightly, slightly pushing it, and then after two seconds, bang all the way to the top. Same again at the top. We're not doing a pause, but we're going to lock out the arms. So you make sure you lock out your elbows. If you're watching this next set, lock out your elbows, but keep the dumbbells nice and wide. So don't let them come. You want them a tiny bit wider than your shoulder width. Um, so yeah, watch this set. See if you can recognize it. My shoulders are hurting already, just from one set holding this camera as well as a myth. But yeah, watch this set. See if you can spot like everything I've said. Um, and then follow it, it really helps. Trust me. Take my eyes open to force reality Why can't you just let me eat my weight in glee? Right, this is set three um, Same again, I'm doing the same weight Following the same form, same tempos um, It's getting hot so I'm going to take this vest off And we continue In 
If you choose a weight and you can't make it to the end without completely dying, just get to as many reps as you can, keep as good form as possible, good tempos, and then on those last like two, three reps, just get some half reps out, bang them out, um, just to maximize it. I mean, obviously you can see what, three sets in, my shoulder pump is insane. Uh, so honestly, try it, would definitely recommend. I've got two more sets on this, so I'm gonna just bang them out, I'm not gonna talk. Um, and then yeah, moving on to the next exercise. My words so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Yeah. So again, perfect example. Got to ten reps, and then I was like. No, no chance. Hit those last two though, bang them out, drop the weight, hit the tripod. Um, but yeah, shoulder pump, crazy. This is post cheat meal as well, so I'm feeling good about it. Um, I got one more set. I don't know if you saw better on that, that set, the form of keeping my shoulders, keeping my hands wider than my shoulders when I was doing the press. I also keep my elbows fairly tucked. So I don't flare them as much as most people. Most people back here, I keep them here. I try to keep my hands forwards as well, and I press up and forwards. Um, I say the front delt a bit more. So yeah, I've got one more set. I'll do it from a different angle. Hopefully you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So yeah, let's go last set. And hold your breath and feel the tension Devils hide behind redemption Honesty is mine So that last set, only got 11 reps again <sighs> Feeling pumped, feeling good about this, this session uh, Next one, next exercise we're doing We're doing um, Arnold, Arnold press I think they're called Arnold press and we're supersetting it with dumbbell front raises So for this one, you have to stay really controlled on it, same again. Tempos are like so important with all of my training, especially right now, um, when you're low calorie, like all you really need is just keeping the tempo on because you're not gonna have any time or like any energy to be putting serious weight on the bar or in your hands. So just keep the tempo nice and slow, really focus on the contractions and you're just gonna get a much better workout if you're trying to cut as well. Um, so yeah, Arnold, Arnold Coe's superset with dumbbell front raises. Let's go. All right, so hopefully you see me. Arnold Coe's, I'm using 12 kilos, um, I've got 10 reps, I'm doing four sets on each of these, so it's four supersets, 10 reps for the Arnold curls, and then 12 reps for the dumbbell front raises. Um, watch how I do the Arnold curls. Uh, I'll try to explain the form as I go through the sets. So I'm gonna to have to go down to probably 10 kilos. But I got an eight for the front raises. Usually I have like a seven, but I couldn't find any. So let's do the front raises. 
That was a good weight. I like that weight. Um, oh, I'm dying. I'm going to grab the 10s and then I'm straight back into another set. These ones are very quick, no rest. Alright, I've got 10 kilos. Um, about the form. So keep your elbows nice and high throughout the whole movement when you're here. Try to keep your elbows closer than your hands. So you don't want your hands like this, you want it like that. Um, when you come out, press out, and you're pressing out in a Y shape. So you're not pressing straight up, you're pressing out to the side. Um, and bring your hands forwards. So press them out and forwards, not out and back. Um, you don't want to do any pressing out and back, you can damage your shoulders. You also won't feel it as much. Um, so yeah, watch this set. See if you can recognize those form points. Um, hopefully this set's better with a lighter weight. So we'll see. I saw you lifeless in your eyes. Form got a bit shaky on those last reps, but still got them done. Definitely better to drop the weight. Ego lifting, pointless. Look at me. I don't ego lift. Lose your touch more every night. We were so afraid of staying the same. I don't want to lose us. I know we're kind of faded. It's definitely getting tougher, but it's working. Feeling crazy pumped. So it's a good workout. With the, with the front raises, you're gonna bend over, and then you're gonna keep your chest up when your hands are back. And when you come up, you're gonna roll, duck your chest down, and really focus on getting a contraction there. And you're gonna twist your hands in as you come up. So you're gonna come up, twist, and then back down, stick your chest out, twist, and back down. Hopefully you can hear me through all this. But yeah, that's the form. So, that's step two. Now for step three and four, I'm gonna just bring them out. Form was definitely questionable on those last two reps, two, three reps, but I had to get them done. As long as you're not like incredibly arching your back or something, um, cheating the form can, can be kind of acceptable. Um, you just don't want to do, do it to a point where you're going to get injured. Um, so yeah, but I've got one more set there, two more sets on, done my raises. My shoulders are killing me. <sighs> All right, got one more set there. I'm not gonna record this set because I'm running low on memory. Um, but yeah, one more set, let me bang it out. All right, so we've hit the anterior delts. Now it's time to take the posterior delts or rear delts, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so forgotten muscle, a lot of people skip it or don't even know that it exists. So you've got to train it, like, it's really important, it will complete your physique. Um, the way I'm going to do this, I do a superset, so I do face pulls, which I'm going to do here, and then I've got two dumbbells down here, I'm going to do rear delt flies with the dumbbells. So watch them, um, follow through, I'll explain obviously the form and everything as we go through. Uh, but I'm going to first of all start here, 12 reps on the uh, Um, 
the form on them is a bit difficult. I put one foot back, slightly, very slightly back, lean over. You don't want to be parallel to the floor, you want to be slightly, slightly higher than parallel. Um, you're pulling out, you're not coming all the way back, so you're not flying, you're not stretching out your chest. You just come in, very small movement, just to about there, coming out and then back down. And you want to control it, keep your hands turned in like that, so you're coming out and then out and then face pulls, pulling to about there. So we're not going high face pulls, which is going to hit more of your trap. We're pulling kind of low in line to hit more of the rear delt. Um, so yeah, watch it again. Second set, I probably won't record the last two sets because I've got low memory, but yeah, watch this second set and see, see if you can kind of follow along and do the same thing. to record um, either of these exercises so hopefully it looks okay but yeah with that one it's tough it's tough don't use too much weight um, and don't be swinging it you will feel it <clears throat> you'll get a serious pump like I mean look at that you get a serious pump from like two sets so I've got another two I'm gonna bang them out um, and then we're gonna check back in when we're doing some side delts so that's fun. So let's see. I'm gonna do those two sets. Alright. Real dots are done. Now, last one in my shoulder workout that I do. Obviously, you've got to hit the anteriors. That's what gives you the. If you look at me, front on, it gives you the shape, it gives you the side shape. Um, <clears throat> the way I do this, I'm gonna do eight reps with a rope. Uh, each hand, so I'm going to do eight reps on cable. So I'll show you that really controlled. When you're drawing these, you're drawing up with the elbows. You're not trying to get your hand higher, you're drawing it up with the elbow. You'll feel contraction there, and then you're coming down. You're coming up, you're squeezing at the top, and then coming back down. Same again, the other side. And then I'm going to grab some dumbbells, and I'm just going to pump out 12 reps with dumbbells. So I'm going to bang out the cable ones so you can see how I'm doing it. That was the rope. Very intense, very controlled. Uh, unfortunately, the light is not good here, so it doesn't look as great. But, onto the dumbbells. I want like the dumbbells. I'm using nine kilos there, but I can't. I can't find the uh, light ones downstairs, I can't be bothered to go upstairs. <laughs> so, got to get make do with the nines. But it's good, it just means I push myself more. We've got three more sets. I'm going to bang them out and then I want to do some posing. This pump is crazy, so got to make the most of it. So yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to record one more set, watch for the form, make note of it, and then I'm going to just do the last two in my own time. So watch it. Same again, with all the exercises, focus on the timings, it makes such a big difference. It will literally make this one the easiest exercise into the hardest exercise you'll ever do in your life. Just finish, train your shoulders. I got some good pump. Um, I'm hit a few poses, see how I look. 
Uh, I've got five minutes left on this SD card, so hopefully I have enough time. Um, but we'll see. Uh, let's get some posing. She works the night, spy the water. She's gone astray so far away from my father's daughter. She just wants a life for a baby. All alone, no one will come. She's got to save her. So that's my physique. I'm currently 11 weeks out now. Um, so, obviously. Incredibly lean at 11 weeks out. Um, I'm feeling confident, this is post refeed like I've literally just, obviously you've seen just what I've just eaten. Um, so, bit of a, bit of food in the stomach, but in terms of the conditioning of the skin, very tight, close to the muscle. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling confident. I'm very happy with my current position actually, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna try and get some pictures for the, obviously for Instagram, and then I'll probably check back in at home. Hopefully you enjoyed this shoulder workout. I'm gonna watch it, and then I'm gonna try talk about anything I missed out um, when I get home. So yeah, watch out for that. Back home. It's been a long day. Four in the morning again. Um, I'm downstairs, obviously everyone's asleep, but I'm going to try to stay as quiet as possible. If you made it this far into the video, I don't know how long this video will be, but hopefully you enjoyed that shoulder workout. Um, I haven't had time to watch it, but if there's anything that you're not sure about, my Instagram will be down below. Message me, I'm always willing to help. Uh, if you made it this far into this video, really appreciate you thank you so much for for the support everyone on instagram this week has been so supportive and obviously i can't even begin to explain how much it like it means to me because this week has been my toughest week so far so i've dropped obviously 650 calories uh, if you watched last week's meal prep video um you would know that i'm down significantly on calories this week uh, so I've been, I felt so drained, like literally the start of this week, I was like, is this even worth it? Um, but I powered through and I got to the end of the week and then by Thursday, Friday, it started to ease up and then I was like, I got my confidence back. And today's been, today's been a good day. And obviously I couldn't like all the messages, DMs, comments, everything. I get so much support for Instagram. So really appreciate that. Um, this is the end of week 11 so we are now officially from tomorrow well when you're seeing this i'm gonna be 10 weeks out uh so yeah it's getting close it seems far but i know the days just got it's gonna come like 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 nothing um i mean we've already what done six six weeks into my prep so far uh so time has flown but yeah i'm not gonna waffle i just wanted to say thank you if you're still here like comment subscribe uh 
follow me on Instagram um, all of that I'm gonna, I'm still going to try and keep up my my weekly posts on it on YouTube I post twice a day on Instagram um, workouts j- pictures in general uh, so yeah if you want to see that go follow me my name is James uh, hopefully you enjoyed this day in the life kind of part two uh, obviously two weeks ago I did one but let me know in the comments if this is what you guys want to see more of because uh, I don't think I've got that great of a response from the meal prep video I didn't like recording that one anyway but I really enjoyed this day so yeah if you want to see more of this let me know um, I'm very tired I need to sleep so yeah have a good week I will see you guys next week and peace